Hello guys, it is Heath with the Groovy Gold Hunter, and I'm at home, and I'm in my little music room slash editing room slash my only room I have in the house. The reason why I'm talking to you is because I'm fixing to show you a video of me going to San Juan, Puerto Rico on a cruise and gold panning. Now, I just did this last week. I am normally a vacation vlogger, a cruise vlogger, sometimes camping, but for the most part vacation vlogger. And I've been doing that for a year and a half. And when I do things, uh, I have another channel called The Vacation Voyagers. And usually when I do things like this, I'll put it on that channel. And once I started getting into gold mining, panning, whatever you want to call it, back in July, I started putting it on that channel. But it had no relation to what I was doing on that channel. So I created this channel, The Groovy Goat Hunter. That being said, we went on a cruise this past week to the Amber Cove, Dominican Republic. We went to San Juan, Puerto Rico, and we went to St. Martin, or St. Martin, however you want to say it. Long story short, they have excursions on these ships, and we were on a similar cruise about six months ago and we went to San Juan Puerto Rico and they have an excursion where you can do a hike you can swim in a river and you can go to a beach it's like $80 a person well it was sold out the last time I brought my gold pan I brought my shovel and everything hoping I can get on that excursion this time around I was able to book that excursion the river swim the hike and the beach Obviously, the only reason why I wanted that excursion is because it was in the El Yunque National Rainforest and the rivers there have gold in them. I've watched people vlog uh, them panning gold out of those rivers. I really wanted to get in those rivers and pan for gold. So that's exactly what I did. They had one ticket left. I went ahead and took it. I went solo. And yeah, this is what you're fixing to see. Me going to the El Yunque, I hope I'm saying that right, it's either, it's either the El Yunque or the El Yunque National Rainforest. Couldn't tell you which river we were in because there's several rivers that intertwine and go into one river. You'll see what I'm talking about. The rivers are ideal for gold mining or gold panning. People have gone there to hunt for gold, to pan for gold, and had success. So yeah, this is me trying to find gold in San Juan, Puerto Rico. So I hope you guys enjoy. Roll that footage. Oh, that's me. I gotta roll that footage. Okay, so here we go. We are in the rainforest, and I guess this is the easy trail because it's concrete. Oh man, I bet there is gold in that little area right there. That's the whole reason why I took this excursion, to see if I could pan for gold. So yeah, this is called the beach, uh, let's see, the hike, river, walk, and beach excursion. You know, when I looked at it online, the reviews weren't great. Uh, but there were some good reviews. It was only $80 to do this excursion, so I thought, let's just go ahead and give it a go. Okay, so that was about a 50-foot walk, and we are now <laughs> at the river. So that was definitely the easy way. Oh, wow. Is that not awesome? Okay, so this is, it looks like it's a river area that runs down, I guess, when the uh, mountain and the rain starts coming. This flows down into the main river down here. This is where everybody else is. Okay, so I didn't get a chance to pan right there. It was like a two minute stop. So we'll see where we're going from here. I figured that was the place where people swim, but I guess it didn't. So yeah, this, this area right here is a gold Panner's dream because there is no river running down it it's dry and there are tons of huge rocks that you can get underneath and probably find pretty good amounts of gold Okay, here we are. Looks like we are in the swimming area. Very nice, very cool, very secluded. Not a whole lot of people here. 
Very pretty. So yeah, we're gonna continue our nature walk because I don't believe we're done walking. I know this tour ends up in a river somewhere where we can swim. I just don't know where that area is. But here are some swimmers here. Nice little deep area. Pretty. see so many areas that you could actually pan like behind that rock which way is the river flowing the river flows that way so yeah beneath these bends over here would be a great place to find gold right here would be a great place to find gold even all the way up here because when that river starts to rumble down you get a lot of rainfall all of this gets covered up so yeah Plenty of places. So let's go see what I can find without breaking my ankles on this rock because man, it is rocky in this little area. Lots of large, big boulders and rocks. All right, so this is my first official pan in Puerto Rico. Let's see what happens. Get my glasses on. I really don't care. It's not about finding gold. It's just really the fact that I was able to come to Pan San Juan, Puerto Rico and pan for gold in this river. Because it is so hard to be able to find gold. But they got black sands. Lots and lots of black sands. So yeah, no go there, but fun. All right, so my second pan right here, just to see what there is in this water. No gold, but lots of black sands. That's always a good sign when you're gold panning and gold hunting. Oh, I've developed a sweat. I'm gonna have to get back to you. Okay, so I've been panning gold. Well, I've been digging in the dirt for about 30, 40 minutes. We don't have a whole lot of time here, but I had to at least try and see if I could get something. <sighs> Nothing. All I got was hot and sweaty but you know i didn't expect to i just wanted the opportunity to try to do it and i got to do it so i'm happy i would love to come to puerto rico and actually do this for real get a proper place to go and do it properly because i can bet that this would be a great place to do some gold sniping and do some gold panning it's a pretty place and a lot of rocks a lot of areas where you can do it okay one more shot of this beautiful rainforest oasis. Pretty area, pretty place to be. All right, better keep up with the group. I don't want to be lost here. So I've worked myself up a good exhausting sweat. And now we're going down this little path right here to where I don't know. I think we're probably going back to the van because we still have the beach to go to. You don't get a whole lot of time here. In the rainforest but what when you know what little you do it's still nice it's worth it just to at least see it one time um, but i do wish they had a lot more time on these excursions because i could have stayed out there in that little river for hours i didn't get it on film what our tour guide was saying but this is protected land this is the rainforest but there are still houses within the rainforest and the deal is as long as the families keep them generation after generation, they can stay in them. But if they want to sell their homes, sell whatever they have here, they have to sell it 
to the government and they will buy it and then they will demolish it because they want their rainforest to get back to its natural habitat as best as it possibly can. So there's you a little bit of info on the Puerto Rican rainforest. <laughs> So yeah, that was the excursion that I took. That was the El Yuque National Rainforest. Again, no clue what the river was called. The tour guide didn't give us a name of the river. There were so many bends and creeks that led into rivers. There were dry creeks everywhere. You can see the rocks, the path of the rocks. Uh, they said it was a very dry time a lot of times when you go there if it had rained that night or something it would be hard to get in certain areas because if it rains all of that rain that comes from the mountain goes rushing down those rivers so they have you have to be really careful of getting into areas like that and worrying about you know floods and river flow and stuff like that because it can come from all over the areas but you know it was perfect for us to be able to do what we did and it would have been awesome to have stayed there for a day or two and i hope one day i get to do that because that is somewhere that i would really like to spend a couple of days gold pan and just you know see sites and all that stuff because it's a really cool place to be so anyway that's it for this video sorry i didn't find any gold but when you only have 30 40 minutes to find gold Chances are you're not going to, and I'm not experienced enough to find it in that amount of time. I don't know who is, but I did have a great time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Please do. It costs you nothing. I would appreciate it if you do subscribe. Like button, share button. You know the drill. If you have any questions or comments, hit my mic and leave them below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun there. And again, hopefully one day I'll be able to take a couple of days there and film that. That would be awesome. But I'm glad I got to do it. It was a cool experience. So thank you guys again. Bye.